When you're talking about a pellet-fired heating appliance, whether it's a boiler or a furnace or even a regular pellet stove, the most important is the fuel source. Pellet fuels are generally made from sawdust that's normally a byproduct of the wood sawing process or the wood manufacturing process. The feedstock for most pellets uh, was uh, originally a, a waste product, which in many cases just used to be burned or dumped. Now more recently, with the increased interest in pellet stoves and furnaces and boilers, there's been an increasingly large amount of green wood being added to the mix. If the wood is sustainably harvested, you are creating a sustainable system unlike fossil fuels, which is not sustainable. This is a fairly um, sophisticated control panel here that controls every aspect of the boiler's operation. However, once you've read the owner's manual, uh, it gives you all the guidance that you need uh, to properly uh, operate the, uh, the boiler. Now, this boiler provides hot water for our baseboard hot water heating system upstairs in the house. And the control panel here controls the operation of the boiler itself, whereas the thermostat upstairs in several thermostats in different parts of the house actually control the amount of heat uh, in the rooms upstairs. This is the back end of the boiler where the hopper or storage bin is located. And it's fairly easy to access. Simply raise the lid. From here you can see the auger that's at the bottom of the bin. The auger feeds the pellets from the bin in the back of the unit into the back end of the firebox. There is a blower fan that creates a strong draft and the pellets burn in a very hot, intense flame. These are premium wood pellets and they're relatively easy to handle. Uh, they come usually, if you buy them by the ton, they come on a pallet load like this and there are normally uh, 50 bags, 50 40 pound bags per pallet load, which equals a ton. This is just slightly less than a ton uh, in this case, but take one of these bags here and bring it right over to the boiler here. This hopper will hold six 40-pound bags. A pellet stove will normally consume about one 40-pound bag of pellets per day. A uh, boiler tends to use a little bit more fuel, and I would say it averages approximately one and a half bags per day. The fuel efficiency of this unit is approximately 90%, which certainly compares favorably with some of the highly efficient other types of boilers that are on the market these days. Regardless of the fuel that you're using, any boiler tends to operate in roughly the same manner. In this case, the heated water that's heated by the tubes inside the boiler is pumped out of the, the boiler through this pipe by this circulation pump up here. And then it's circulated around through the entire home's heating system and then comes back in a return line back here and is then uh, circulated back into the boiler through this other pipe here. Another main advantage of switching from non-sustainable fossil fuels like heating oil or propane or natural gas and switching to a greater reliance on wood pellet fuels is that we are shifting our dependence from largely foreign supplies of unsustainable fossil fuels to a much greater dependence on locally produced fuels uh, which create jobs uh, right here in the United States and keep our energy dollars circulating within uh, the U.S. economy rather than sending those dollars overseas.